Physical activity is an essential component of a healthy lifestyle. For younger children, it's even more important in helping shape future development. Unfortunately, the time children spend moving is decreasing and is being replaced by sedentary activities. Since young children spend much of their day in child care settings, providers play a critical role in keeping young children active. That's why the North Dakota Department of Health is teaming up with parents and child care providers statewide in an effort to educate them on the benefits of physical activity and the recommendations they can follow to help ensure success. The benefits of physical activity are numerous, both to the children and the providers who help them. Together, we can encourage daily activity in order to help children develop healthy habits and build physical skills that can last a lifetime. Physical activity is essential for a healthy lifestyle. Combined with healthy eating, it can prevent many chronic diseases like heart disease, cancer, stroke, the three leading causes of death. Physical activity does many things. It controls weight. It builds lean muscle. It reduces fat. It builds strong bones and joints and decreases the risk of obesity. Ideally, young children should not be seated for more than 30 minutes at a time. Young children need both structured adult-led activity as well as unstructured activity time. Adult-led activities are planned exercises that can include going for a walk, dancing, and singing songs such as wheels on the bus or riding tricycles and scooters. Adult-led activities allow the individual in charge the chance to better monitor the level of activity that children in their care receive. Toddlers need at least 30 minutes of planned adult-led physical activity every day, while preschoolers need at least 60 minutes. These activities should correlate with the children's short attention spans. Providers should also be flexible and understand how to read a child's intent about when to start or stop an activity. Plan for at least another 60 minutes of unstructured active play for a combined total of 120 minutes of active time, both indoors and outdoors, each and every day. A few minutes of moderate to vigorous play in activities that increase children's heart rates and breathing should also be planned throughout the day. One way to get children moving is to play quick, easy to follow games throughout the day. Kids love to pretend and they love when you pretend with them. So if you are helping them create a situation where they can pretend, such as let's be cowboys and gallop around the yard, just pretending to be animals. Let's, let's, let's crawl like puppies across the floor. Let's, let's be mountain or polar bears through the snow. Just different animals that you can crawl around and get moving in different ways. These spontaneous activities, along with time for active free play and structured games like tag, all add up to help children achieve the recommended 120 minutes of physical activity they need every day. It's also important not to forget that infants need an active time as well. Infants should spend a majority of their wake time out of restrained environments, such as high chairs and infant seats. While it may seem that bouncy chairs or exercisers would encourage physical activity, these items actually inhibit natural muscle movement and can delay motor skill development such as crawling, rolling, and walking. They just need to play on the floor as much as possible. The benefits to keeping young children active are numerous and include the fact that active children tend to have fewer behavior and disciplinary problems. Always remember that active playtime should never be withheld for children who display challenging behavior. We have to remember that children move through development at their own speed and we need to be aware that we are going to plan activities that not only meet individual development but they also meet the development of a group of children. We know that children who aren't active enough might have a tendency to display challenging behavior. By making active time a part of your daily routine, you can potentially decrease these types of incidences with children. It is also important that young children limit their daily screen time with devices such as televisions, video games, and computers. The American Academy of Pediatrics recommends that children under the age of two not have any screen time, and preschool children limit viewing to one to two hours of quality programming over the course of the day. This includes time at home. The early years are a critical time for brain development. TV and other electronic media can get in the way of exploring, playing, and interacting with others' things that encourage learning and healthy physical and social development. The American Academy of Pediatrics reports that obesity is a serious problem, not only for adults, but for children. The preschool years are an important time for preventing obesity. This is the time when children develop fat tissue between three and seven years of age.
Creating an environment that encourages young children to engage in playful activity is an important factor for both parents and child care providers to consider. Children that are engaged in a playful environment are healthier and happier and also develop better social skills. Keep safety in mind as you create environments for physical movement. Inside, clear clutter and remove furniture such as low tables, lamps, or shelves that could fall or cause injury during active play. Inspect outdoor play spaces regularly to identify and eliminate hazards. Always check the weather before going out to ensure children are dressed appropriately. Finally, plan for the unexpected. Always keep a first aid kit handy and fully stocked. For a list of items, check out the resource tip sheet at www.ndchildcare.org. Children are more physically active in programs with large indoor and outdoor spaces. Plan to go outside twice a day, even if it's only for a short time when it's extremely cold or hot. Create a space near the door where you can organize the clothes and shoes children will need. Getting ready to go outdoors can be challenging, but the fresh air, active play, and change of scenery are all worth the effort. Active play can benefit young children just to give them the skills for a lifetime, for an active life, um, introducing them early to you know, an active lifestyle so that they're comfortable with that as they, as they grow. Music is a wonderful movement motivator. Periodically throughout the day, turn on the music and have some fun. Encourage children to dance, skip, and twist. Even babies will feel the beat and find ways to move. So we'll do activities where we'll warm up um, with soft music. We'll fly our wings like butterflies or we'll flutter like a leaf on the tree. Um, the music will gently get more rapid and the children will um, then increase their activity. However, be aware that some children can be overstimulated if the music is on all day and all children still need quality quiet time set aside for development as well. Activities that keep children active can also benefit other health-related areas, such as social skills, better mood, and more consistent sleep, along with a decrease in behavioral problems. One of the best ways parents and child care providers can support physical activity in young children is to become active themselves. Make every effort to encourage children to be active and provide visible support for physical activity through use of posters, pictures, and displayed books. It's very important to get these kids physically active and moving. It doesn't matter how big or how small your area is, all it takes is a little creativity and invention and you can get these kids up and moving. Being an active supervisor is important. As children engage in activities both inside and outside, the focus of the child care provider should be on keeping them safe and free from accident or injury. It only takes an instant for serious accidents to occur. Therefore, child care providers must always be aware of potential dangers and risks as children engage in physical activity. Child care providers are encouraged to participate by doing the activity along with the children, or by being an active bystander, clapping and encouraging the action. Your participation not only shows children that physical activity is important, but also maintains a level of safety as they play. Physical activity should be really fun to do with kids and we should make it fun and we should do things and bring in new words for kids and, and have different ways of expressing themselves. One of the best ways you can help promote activity on a day-to-day -day basis is simply to plan ahead. Cold weather, space limitations, and caring for mixed ages can ruin the best of intentions. One way to address these challenges is to incorporate options for physical activity several times a day. Keeping activity ideas and movement songs in your back pocket will help you get children moving when they need to release some energy. Remember to map out your day, but be ready for anything. Finally, parents and child care providers should not only be responsible for understanding the benefits of physical activity for young children, but also take the time to alert others. Families and caregivers play a critical role in shaping a child's habits and lifestyles. They are the role models, modeling healthy behaviors for children. But the rest of society has a role too, to help families and caregivers encourage healthy lifestyles in children. We need consistent messages across the many message sources of a community. Parents and child care providers are encouraged to participate in training opportunities on physical activity. Provide routine physical activity education to support the development of emerging motor skills. 
It is also recommended that you create a written policy on physical activity that is available to staff and parents and routinely followed. Topics should include least restrictive environments for infants, balance of play for both indoors and outdoors, quiet and active time, and proper dress attire for both indoors and outdoors. We invite you to visit our website for more information regarding early learning guidelines, specifically for children ages 0 to 5. Early learning guidelines are defined as research-based, measurable descriptions of the things we expect young children to know and be able to do at each age and stage of development. They are a roadmap for planning, carrying out, and evaluating an early childhood environment to ensure that it supports children's development and learning. Best of all, Early Learning Guidelines gives everyone, from parents to policymakers, a common language and common expectations for children's development and learning. As child care providers, you have the power to influence the health and lifestyle of children now and into the future. When kids exercise, they feel good. Both parents and child care providers share a great responsibility in molding behaviors children carry throughout life. Physical activity not only teaches children new skills, but it also teaches them new vocabulary words. It's a great way to bring new and interesting ideas to young children, and we as adults need to be the ones that provide it for them. By incorporating physical activity into your daily schedule, creating active play environments, and putting policies in place that support physical activity, together we can get our children moving towards a healthy life.